how to calm your stress out brain. Stress is a fact of life. We all experience it regularly and in small doses, it can even be helpful keeping us alert and focused. But too much stress can wreak havoc on our mental, emotional, and physical health. While we cannot eliminate stress entirely, there are ways to calm it down and feel better. James says in James chapter 1, verse 2 and 4, Consider it pure joys, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds. Because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking in anything. The Bible teaches us to learn to face our stress and face it well. Because when we do it right, we will grow in our character and strength. Hi everyone, welcome to the Possibility Journey. I'm Tech Ming. I love helping people find God and find meaning in their lives so that they can live life to the fullest. Here are some signs of unhealthy stress. Constant headache. Lack of motivation and tension in the body. Easily irritable and angry. Difficulty in sleeping. Here are some strategies you can try to help you calm your stress out brain. Number one, be mindful. Slow down and be in the present moment. Stress can turn us into busy robots. We can rush through our days lost in thoughts, barely noticing the world around us. Mindfulness offers us a solution. It teaches us to slow down, be present, and truly experience the moment. This shift allow us to see situation more clearly, react calmly, and connect better with others. For example, you're driving to work. Your mind is thinking of all the problems to be solved and resolved. You arrive at your office and you realize that you have, you have not even noticed your journey. What you might have passed by or missing. You might have even missed something important. Your mind was too preoccupied with stressful thought. You were not present during the trip, the journey. You see, mindfulness isn't just about the journey. It's about enjoying your entire ride of life, connecting with who and what matters to you. Number two, give stress a name. Sometimes stress can feel overwhelming. A simple, pro uh, a simple problem can look like a monster. Our mind is fused with all types of negative thoughts about possible disaster, failures, and how things can go horribly wrong. One way to calm the storm of stress is to give stress a name. First, you must recognize when stress is showing up. Then take a pause to slow down. Slowing down helps you to think. Look at your stress and give it a name. It can be any name. You can call it stress. Or you can give it an interesting name that is related to the problem. For example, 
if you're facing a difficult customer and your thoughts are going all over, you can call that stress that is showing up the grumpy client. Or you're feeling overwhelmed by a project. You can call that stress fulfilling the workload dragon. By naming our stress, we can see it more objectively and stop it from controlling us. Number three, distinguish between helpful and unhelpful stress. Not all stress is bad. Sometimes a little stress can motivate us to do our best. The key is to identify whether the stress is helping or hindering us. For example, you are about to make a presentation. Feeling a little stress before the presentation can actually help you to be focused and prepared. But if that stress paralyzes you with fear, then it is unhelpful. And when it is unhelpful, learn to let it go. You can use the first two points of being mindful and give stress a name to help you to let it go. You can tell your unhelpful stress. Thank you, stage monster, for coming. I know you're trying to help. I don't quite like you at this moment. I have to let you go for a bit so that I can focus on doing my best for the presentation. You can go and sit with the audience. I'll get back to you later. Listening to our stress, identifying it, and use it to our advantage. Number four, give God your stress. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 to 7, the Bible says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. This is the most important principle. God is near and is here to help us. Often we fight our problems and struggles alone. Fighting them alone will only overwhelm us with stress. Learn to let go and let God take care of the stress monster in your mind so that you can have the peace to think clearly, to overcome your troubles. By following these four tips, slowing down, giving stress a name, identifying helpful stress, giving God your stress, you can take control of your stress, find more peace in your life, and calm your stress out. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again in another possibility journey. Bye.